My name is Eric Liu. I'm a pianist, 21 years old. I'm from the United States and very happy to be here today in Paris. Even when I'm 70, I will still, still be learning and then think like today that there's still so much more to learn and not enough time. I think with music and playing the piano, it's such an endless journey. There's so many great works out there for us to discover and experience and music it takes time to live with. Already for me um, playing such as today in Paris uh, because of the music it's already a dream come true. Um, in terms of having more dreams I wouldn't I guess try to keep uh, thinking in, in that way but rather um, just enjoy the, the great journey it is to perform and also the amazing part of collaborating with other great musicians, uh, great conductors, orchestras, uh, and keep being able to experience and share the music with people is, I think, is my greatest dream in general. I think it's very difficult to generalize audiences. Uh, even in one, one audience, there's so many different types of people. Of course, it's very interesting, and you can sort of subconsciously feel uh, differently everywhere you play um, due to the, the culture of the place, the history, playing Chopin in Poland, or uh, in playing Bach and Beethoven in Germany. It would feel a little bit different and more really sp special. I played once uh, a few years ago in Noan, uh, the Chopin Festival, but this is my first time in Paris. Chopin is a very special composer for me, I think, for all uh, musicians, uh, pianists. Uh, we have particular composers that we would feel closer to, uh, maybe an affinity towards, and for me Chopin is one of them. Uh, his music is is so wonderful in so many different ways and I think it's so relatable for audience members to experience the emotional, passionate and really beautiful side of his music. So I'm very happy to play it here tonight, the second sonata. More importantly, um, the emotional side, the maybe the storytelling side of the music, we have to try to feel as, as deeply as we can um, what this music is saying and try to imagine as much as possible what the composer was thinking to write this music. And the great power of music, it, it, it's so transcendent, so subconsciously something we cannot really explain in words, but we, we have this power that we feel towards it. And um, of course, personally, you have to be involved uh, through your own personal experience um, in many ways, and it's so unique to different audiences. I don't really have a particular ritual or, or pattern of things. Of course, I try to practice as much as I can, uh, 
get proper rest and that's about it. <laughs>